Hello fellow adventurers, Glenn coming back to you here to bring you another video. Today we're going to dip into some hiking trips that never quite made it to light. I feel disappointed that I can't share a video I created just because I had to cancel my plans to hike that particular trail. So in this video, I'm reflecting on past adventures that I had to back out of. But I still want to showcase the videos that I made for those planned hikes, if that makes sense. I enjoy sharing the work that I do and the videos I make, and I'd hate that these videos aren't out there simply because I put these plans on the burner. So this gives me an opportunity to still put out the work I put into this content, even though these plans never came to being. So let's start with the idea I had for through hiking the Fox River Trail. The plan was to hike the McHenry Prairie Trail and the Fox River Trail together from the Wisconsin state line to Oswego along the Fox River. Most of these trails are old railway corridors that were transformed into all-weather trails for cycling, hiking, etc. The only problem is they don't offer much in the way of difficulty or terrain. Most of them are just flat, straight trails for miles and miles and miles. Take a look at the video I never quite shared announcing my plans to conquer this trail. the Fox River, a 202 mile long tributary of the Illinois River flowing from southeastern Wisconsin to Ottawa, Illinois. The Fox River Trail, a multi-use 40 mile path that runs along the Fox River, largely in Kane County the trail connects multiple communities from Algonquin to Oswego. Further north, the McHenry County Prairie Trail travels 26 miles from the Kane County border on the south to the Wisconsin state line to the north. For this through hike, I'll be walking from the Wisconsin state line to Oswego, Illinois, along both the McHenry County Prairie Trail and the Fox River Trail. Over the course of three days. The more I planned for this trip, the more I realized this trail was more of an urban bike path than a traditional hiking trail. You know, it's passing through bustling towns and busy neighborhoods. It lacked the serenity of nature that I often crave on a through hike. Plus, it didn't offer the escape that I look for in an adventure. And there was no planned camping along this route. Camping wasn't permitted along the trail because of its proximity to city limits. So the plan was to have two hotel stays along the route. Yeah. The more I planned this one, the more I got discouraged from wanting to do it. 
Moving on to my ambitious plan to conquer the three major trails in Indiana, the Adventure Hiking Trail, the Tecumseh Trail, and the Knobstone Trail. Let's check out the video where I introduce this grand adventure. In today's world, it can be difficult to quiet the mind and think. For many, a walk in the woods is still the best cure for the stresses of modern life. It's only been a few months since my recent thru-hike of the River to River Trail in Southern Illinois, and already I long to return to the woods, to connect with nature, to challenge myself, and to discover new sights and sounds. next adventure takes us deep into the forests of southern Indiana. Join me as I take on my own Indiana Triple Crown journey, beginning with the Adventure Hiking Trail. Unfortunately, Life's responsibilities intervened, forcing me to cancel this hiking trip. Things happen sometimes. It's on hold for now, but I'm keeping the flame alive with my current plans to hike the Tecumseh Trail next month. Perhaps this setback will reignite my passion for conquering this Triple Crown adventure? We shall see. So stay tuned for more updates on my upcoming adventures. I do have plans and goals in place for this year. Until then, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep hiking. See you on the next one, guys. Take care.